Hi guys, today we will talk about the, the Flybook converter because it is an atypical converter which I wanted to cover in my video. So this is the fly, this is the uh, back converter which you normally know with the two switches here and the output capacitance with the load. A little bit away from just to remind you, uh, let me call this VC, let me call this L and this the output voltage. So you expect the VC to do something like this, between zero and the input voltage V in, this is V in, and the output voltage, let's say that the duty cycle is 0 0.5, this will be, if the, is the V in is 20 volt, it would, the output voltage will be 10 volt. The inductor, instead, the inductor current, will basically be a triangular voltage, which will charge when VIN is positive and discharge when, VIN, when, when the VC, sorry, is negative. Very simple. Very, very simple. Well, the flybook is very similar to the back. It's called flybook because it has a back and a, and a sort of flyback. You basically take another, another inductor here and you couple with this one. And then you follow the same thing as the flyback, so a diode plus a capacitor C. And so you can even add the, an LDO or, or some TPS of the sort to uh, ensure that this voltage here is 3.3, 5 volt, and is very stable. So it is basically the same. But with respect to the flyback, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, the first advantage is that the ground here, let me call this uh, GN2, will be different from the ground here GND1, because there is the isolation provided by this guy. And uh, if you remember the flyback, the flyback is, has this switch here, Q1, which is very stressed. And when you have multiple output in the flyback, I do remember that when you change V1, changing V1 will mean, will mean changing the energy of the couple inductor. And so V2 changes, because the energy received here will be different from before. Not only this, but when you use an uh, opt-isolator, remember that this guy here is, um, is very delicate. And it will also occupy a lot of space. So let's, uh, let's see this topology on anti-spice and let's see what happens. I will start first by simulating a classical back converter. So you don't, uh, uh, let's see if I can, um, I can find on my, um, let's see if I can find of, uh, an already made back converter. I should, uh, I should have it. So, uh, okay, this is a back boost. I, I don't care, I can use this. Let me cancel the thing that I, I don't need. But what I need is here, the, the high side pulse. So let me cancel this. Let me use the... Let me use another and let me use the inductance so i'm i'm constructing the i'm constructing the the back converter very very fast because you can find a lot of videos even in my channel talking about the back converter so it is really 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 nothing new uh, uh, nothing new under the sun so let me call this guy here oops let me call this guy here g1 and this goes there let me call this guy here S1, which stands for the source, and this goes here. So remember how the how it is made. You basically use a voltage generator between 0 and 50 volts, and the period of time is D over Fs, and the period is 1 over the switching frequency. So for the low side, is is almost the same, but remember that it has to be translated. You can even put a diode if you're lazy. If you're lazy, you can even put a diode.
and avoid the synchronous configuration. Should work fine. Uh, so let's just add the delay, which is D over FS. And remember that the period in which stands on is the inverted with respect to the high side. So is 1 over minus D. So let me put just uh, 20 micro capacitance and a load of 1 ohm. So we are in almost full load condition. And I expect if I have, uh, let me save this file as a flybook in here. Um, okay. So let me run the simulation. Uh, okay, this is the inductor current. That's fine. And the voltage is uh, uh, 80 volt. Uh, y, 0.4, uh, let me put 0.5 because 0.5 should be the half, and yes, it is 10 volt, with a uh, very small ripple, so as you can see, it, it is uh, well designed, let me put 6.8 micro, and a capacitor of um, 40, uh, 22, but we will put more of them in parallel, so that we will reduce the ESR, and increase so a capacitor bank like this for the power rating we are working on which is 100 watts let me put even a higher bank like this it should reduce the yes we are increasing the transient but it is not a problem because we, we can skip this and just analyze the 10 first milliseconds Uh, let me prolong this, so the transient is even higher, okay, uh, 3.2 milli, okay, so as you can see we have a very small ripple across the inductance, the input voltage which is between 0 and 20 volts, and uh, so the back converter is working properly, but now is the turn for the flybook, so how we can do that? We will basically take another inductor. Let me put the same value for now because I don't want to study uh, ratio or some sort uh, ratio of the some sort. This will be grounded and this ha this two has to be coupled. So L1, L2, uh, K, L1, L2 equal to 1. So we are coupling these two guys. And now I will put... Uh, uh, let me translate everything up. No, not you. Not you. Let's go down. Okay, so um, let me use a good diode. Let me use a good diode. So let me, pit, uh, let, let me pick a Schottky diode and let me use, um, even here, a capacitor bank. Oh. That's it. And let me put also load of 1 ohm. Now let me add the simulation. So as you can see, this voltage here has not changed. Yes, you have a, um, a triangular waveform ripple because here there is the ESR. Let's see this voltage here. So you can see that you have another voltage. You have uh, another voltage here, basically. And uh, this is very good because uh, so you're saying that you're making a secondary voltage, but the fact is that, but the, the point is, you can regulate the output voltage here. Let me, let me call it out one. 
so you have two different grounds you have the isolation because you have because here there is the coupling between these two these two guys and uh, um, um, you can even put um, an LDO let me find uh, if I remember uh, yes the linear regulators I want a, a very a very 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 simple uh, linear regulator LTC uh, no these are multiplayer controllers okay this maybe can suit our application let me see uh, Macromotex feature uh, no <laughs> so, sorry this is a shunt regulator Uh, it's a step down regulator. I want just uh, an LDO. Well, today I'm not getting any luck. Uh, low noise, low dropout, low uh, micro power. Ah, uh, okay. This should be fine. Okay, this should be fine. Yes, this should be. This should be fine. So. Um, let me put uh, in between the load uh, this guy here. The shutdown pin is By the way, you don't need all these capacitance of the input because uh, these act like, like are just like a peak detector and uh, uh, we can transfer instead uh, the uh, the a bit of capacitance in the output and uh, uh, this guy should step down the input voltage to 1.5 so let me run the simulation now so at the input uh, you have 10 volts 12 volts and at the output you have uh, uh, nothing Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't put the. Uh, sorry, I didn't put the ground. My bad. So you have uh, uh, one volt, basically one volt. So we created here ten volts, and here one volt. And the thing is that uh, this guy is even isolated is even isolated from this guy here so we created we, we created we created two power supplies two voltages two, two output voltages without without the using of a flyback converter and now um if i try to regulate this guy here so the uh, the input voltage here will change but the uh, the output voltage here will be key kept constant to one dot one one volt more or less one volt so even if out one changes out two is equal to one volt and i can prove this to you by open opening my uh, already made um uh, Visual material kilowatt. Let me use uh, uh, let me use the I should have made. Uh, Uh, I don't remember where, but I should have made uh, the the controller. I'm trying to find it. Uh, 
ok 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 uh, this is okay depends on the one multiple p to m and close the map Trying to find uh, the closed loop so that we can okay. Uh, I can't. I can't find it. This is very unfortunate. I can use these. Uh, I can use this PWM generator. Let me let me check if it does. Uh, I don't think that this will work. But LTC is uh, a timer box PWM. But anyway, if uh, I can show you that uh, if you regulate, uh, you can understand that if you regulate this, it won't change. It won't change much. Uh, let me check uh, if all the waveform are correct. So this is this is zero and twenty volt. This is the whoa. This is the inductor uh, voltage, which is very strange. Yes, because there is also the ah yes, because there is the coupled. There there is also the coupled waveform here, so naturally, he will resent something. Uh, but despite of this, you have the output voltage of ten volts. So let me change for for now. Let me change this to zero dot twenty five. I will expect the voltage to be uh, around five volts because you have a quarter of the input voltage, and this is correct. And uh, but you still have one volt here. So as you can see, I change the duty cycle. I change the duty cycle but one volt constant. So this is the big advantage. Isolation and the desired output here that is uh, constant because of the LDO basically, because the input voltage here has of course changed to 15 volts. So, but this will be kept constant. Thank you for your attention guys and see you in the next video.